Hi Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Angel Day, December 12th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let us ask God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, to bless us, to move us forward in healing, loving peace keeping all that is hateful and hurtful from us. So let's see what energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the Five of Cups. We need to be mindful, Gemini, that we can have a tendency on this angel day to kind of be stuck in the past, past mistakes, past hurts, past disappointments, and not connect with the healing, beautiful love around us, not be able to move forward to the place that we want to be. So just being aware of this, that we can look at things and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe that happened, but it happened. And we need to move forward into what we love and what we desire and what we want, because it is waiting right there behind us. It is waiting for us to see. Now let's see the word that spirit wants us to meditate upon, or just to keep in our minds during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is joyous. There is something here about saying what brings you joy. There is a sense of of saying what brings you joy of is there joy in your life? You know, what is it that makes you feel stuck or overwhelmed or or trapped or as if you're not moving forward the way that you want to? There is a need for joyousness here. And there is a need for calling that forward. And even if it is just on this day to do things that are joyous or to to laugh, to to play more, to to embrace more of, of the joy, that's going to be very important. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Oh, wow. Okay. So a lot of cards came forward. Oh, it's very interesting. Oh, okay. There's a shift. Okay. What's very interesting here is that we start with the seven, the seven of swords. There's a lie that's coming forward and there's a lie that you're moving away from. It's either a lie that you've been telling yourself, a lie that somebody has told you, but it has stayed in your subconscious and it comes forward every now and then just to whack you right between the eyes and say don't you remember you can't do this don't you remember you can't be this so being aware of this is going to be important we have here three negative cards okay the seven of swords the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay these two have to do with money they're all focused around this lie this like false narrative that you have going on in your head gemini and this angel day, 1212, all right, is a day of consciousness. It is a day of 
awareness and awakening to our higher selves, to what we really want. There's wholeness and there's graduation. So it can be that we're graduating from negative ideas that have been holding us back. It can be that we're graduating from college or a course or, you know, something very tangible in this world that we can see. And it could be something more abstract. However, it works forward for us. There is a sense here of I have had negative thoughts around money and now I'm breaking them because this is this angel day shows us a completion of lessons and it turns the page and it says, this is the next chapter. This is, this is the next part of our journey. And it much more aligns with our soul's journey with why we're here. Now we could have been going through a very difficult time, a time where we felt locked away, a time where we saw money going out way faster than it was coming in. And you just sit there and you're like, there's a fear to it. It's like, is this going to be my forever? Or, and there's also a fear of, am I always going to be trapped? So those things need to be acknowledged for ourselves. There's also here vampiric energy. And this can be from the lie that we were told again, but it's like, I'm stealing your wealth. I'm stealing your prosperity. I'm holding you back. And now you feel like you always belong on the outside of wealth, on the outside of prosperity, on the outside of bounty. And yet we have the three of wands. We have doors opening for us. We have passion moving us forward. We have a sense of, of new adventures coming and we're craving an adventure. We really are craving an adventure. The queen of wands comes in, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is energy that says, what are you passionate about? What do you desire? What do you want? What do you need? This is also bringing back a bit of magic, which I can see from the cards here. It's like the magic has waned away at times. It could be with our partners. It could be with our relation, well, with our relationships. It could be with our, our work. It could be in, in work. Like when we go into work, we're still excited to be there, but oh my gosh, the people that we have to work with, they drain us. So here we're just looking at things and, and we're starting to have the magic come back. And we're claiming it. We're passionate about it. Because I always see the goddess Hecate in the queen of, of wands. And the goddess Hecate is the goddess of magic. Now there's also the goddess Hestia, which is the goddess of the hearth. And I see that because of the fire. Right? And she was one of the main goddesses after the Titan War. Right? And this is back in, in Greek mythology. And when the Titans, when the Olympians were done fighting the Titans, there was an unequal number of men and women, gods and goddesses. And so they were going to have another huge fight. It was going to be another terrible fight. And Hestia said, no, I'm done. So there's something here where people will be like, well, don't you want the recognition? Or don't you need everybody to know you? Or don't you want this? It's like bigger and better and more and more. And you're like, no, I'm done. I'm happy. I'm okay. And we can even need to say this to ourselves, like, I'm happy, I'm okay, I don't need to be chasing everybody else's dreams, everybody else's wants, everybody else's desires. I have my own. And that leads us to the Ace of Cups. That leads us to God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift of healing, beautiful love, and us drinking deeply of it on this day. We can feel more sensitive, but we can also feel way more aligned. We can feel much more connected with spirit, much more connected with ourselves, and much more aware of this journey. It's not always a beautiful journey, this journey of life. When we look back at it, we can see the beautiful moments and we can see, okay, this is why this happened or that's why that happened. But when we're in the thick of it, it's not always a beautiful journey. But we're realizing here the lies that we're told and the lies that continue to be told. And we're, we're not here for it. I love this because they're flying away. They're flying away. It's like, I'm done with that. Now it's time to move forward and to see what can come of it. What can move me? What can guide me? What can be a part of me? We're done with the vampiric energy and we're done with thinking we don't deserve wealth. Even if it's just a subconscious narrative, we're done with it. And now there's a new horizon. And now there's a magic a beauty, a wealth, a power to us. And emotionally, we're present even if it's painful at times. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of, <laughs> it's funny, is the Queen of Cups. We can get a little bit too emotional here. So just be mindful about this. We can also be very affected by the moon and the new moon is on the 23rd. So just throwing that out there for us. 
there is also a sense that we can have emotional manipulation. Somebody can know that you're a really sweet person or that you'll bend over backwards for them. So they want you to. They, they definitely want to take advantage of this. So just be aware of this. Our subconscious word to meditate on is devoted. What are we devoted to? And do we name everybody else but ourselves? What is our devotion? And do we even know it? Our subconscious tarot message is the Six of Pentacles. Spirit just said, you're waiting for things to be fair. Now it's time to demand that they are fair. It's not going up to our boss and saying, I need a raise, you know, da, 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 this is what I'm worth. It can be saying, I want a raise. How do I go about getting it? You know, it can be looking at things and being a little bit more proactive, a little bit more, you know, gutsy in our own lives, which could be a little bit harder for us because we have this, you know, this, this pullback, this kind of hurt around money coming forward that, that makes us feel stunted. But we're also looking here and saying it has to be a give and a take. It can't be I only give or I only take or you only give and you only take. It has to be equal. And that's going to be something that we're moving towards during this time. A balance. And that's going to be very important for us. All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Gemini. And may you have a blessed angel day. God bless.